hopefuls and today I'm going to take you guys I'm gonna try my best to take you guys along this process and this journey of some packing or just getting control into his dorm room let's say that because I don't know if I'm gonna forget to turn the camera on but I'm gonna try to take you along right now I do need to do another haul and I probably will do that separately from this but this is my dining room um, this stuff is going to go in the laundry room so these are like some inflatable beds an extra pillow and blanket trail is going to take to orientation it's still been sitting here so this is like two bags some library books I need to go to the library and all this mess so today we just got the stir lights and I think there are eight tubs and I hope it's enough if not we we'll go in the garage and I know I think I have a couple of empty ones and then his pillows and some boxes I try not to break down in case we needed them and yeah so I don't have any room on my table to even put my laptop so I think I'm gonna do his haul over here and the stuff that I'm trying to separate the bins of according according to like hygiene products, food products, bedding, stuff like that. So it'll be easier to unpack. And I think if anything I haven't hauled, I'll put over here for you guys to see. And then I need to show him because a lot of things I've been getting and I haven't showed him what I've gotten. Everything has came so far. Um, I did try to make sure I get in my last couple of Amazon order or because you get in two days or Walmart get in two days order. I th these came today from Walmart something else is in here what else did I get from Walmart I can't remember but I haul it and then today his robe came and then tomorrow I'm expecting a cord some kind of cable cord for he needs that's on his requirement list and also oh gosh I'm drawing a blank a organizer so he has one right here on the side of his bed but it's just a plain one which will get the job done but I got him a better one and I'll probably give this one to JJ um, because JJ always has like his phone on his bed at night and I don't like that so probably just give that to JJ because he doesn't need too many pockets where Trail has more of a deluxe one that was off of Amazon and anything that hasn't came or if it's from Amazon I'll make sure I'll link it below and put a picture up of it and it's something else guys that I'm waiting for but I probably remember as I'm doing the um, haul. Hi guys, I'm going to share with you his rest of his haul. I'm going to place it all together and I'm going to start with his toiletry items or items that were necessary. He also has, I just got on him to bring what he's not using from his room downstairs as far as toiletry items. But I think he's still going to use those. And if he's still going to use them, then he needs to place them in a area so he won't forget them. And the those things were like his toothbrush. I know he used some kind of... Um, I have to take a picture of it and insert it. I think it's Gold Bond Spray that he loves. My husband loves it too. And I know he likes his uh, cologne and stuff like that. And... I can't remember what else guys but it's some more things that's upstairs that he hasn't done so let me just show you what I have right here uh, he picked this up the other day the body fortress whey protein and he likes the cookies and cream this is at Walmart I think it's like 16 or 17 dollars and then he puts fiber I didn't realize he does it but he probably needs to with some of the complaints he said uh, fiber in his protein and this is the equate brand it's equivalent to the Benefiber and I think this was like nine dollars so his job gave him two gift cards for twenty dollars so uh, he had forty dollars and he it went really quickly so he was surprised he also I'm gonna show what he purchased he also likes this Old Spice Swagger two and one for hair that's another thing he picked up he has two I think six packs of bars that he got from roses I believe I believe it was roses and he likes the swagger scent 
and he may have some body spray as well and body wash so that stuff is probably upstairs and i have to get him to remember because i told him you're not gonna have me run around here or saying you forget something i have to mail it to you he also loves this oars by oars olive oil professional oil moisturizing hair lotion I believe he said it's about $12 and to get this great big bottle it's a 23 fluid ounce I usually just get the small one that's like five it's four or five maybe six dollars from Walmart and he goes to the beauty supply store to get this and it's like $12 so he is into doing his um his little hair and he also has like a sponge and his picks and his brushes which is not in this um, shot because I know that's gonna be like the last thing he picks up he also picked up the Equate Moisture Care Essential Renew Lotion by Equate. And I believe this was $3, maybe close to 4 Yeah. And then also he picked up the Old Spice Deodorant uh, Stronger Swagger. And this was from Walmart. I don't remember the price, guys. And this might be the last thing he picked up other than what he may have in his room the equate tartar control plus i have used this well we use this and i like it it's compared to listerine ultra clean cool mint active ingredients active ingredients i don't know why i read that but the blue mint i like this and i think it's like three or four dollars over here i got him some of these cottonelle flushable wipes and he may not need these on a regular basis so he can try them and then if he needs them and he likes them then he can go purchase them um on his own next time and then also the baby wipes and i picked these up so that he can wipe his hands off like if he's eating a snack and he he should go down to the hall and wash his hands but like um just if he needs to wipe his face or something like that i hate that his room his hall doesn't have sinks in them like some of um the other dorms do have sinks because if you just have a sink that's so much convenient as far as everything because um as well he's going to have to pour some of this out so he doesn't have to take the whole container to the bathroom but he'll figure it out so that's why I picked him up some baby wipes. If he wants to continue to get those, then he has to get them on his own. There's this Colgate I showed before, the nail clipper. I did pick him up some Dowel and then only picked him up the six pack because he can go get some later. He also has the Swagger, um, Swagger Old Spice. And then he, oh, he picked, he bought this too, the um, alcohol. And he likes to clean his face with it. And I said, Katrina, don't you need to buy some face cleanser or something? He was like, no, I'm good with alcohol. And I'm like, no, you're not. So I had a stockpile of these facial cleanser bars from Dollar Tree and the Yardley. And so I added that with his. I also, I've been picking up ivory for JJ. So I asked him, did you want a bar of ivory soap? And then I picked him up some of the Clar and Danver antibacterial liquid hand soap from Dollar Tree and then I don't remember guys if I showed you all this or not his soap saver I believe yeah I got them both from Walmart the Equate so they're like 97 cents or something like that and then guys <laughs> not trying to baby him not trying to um I can't think of the word mother him too much but really i didn't think anything of this but when he i went to the bathroom myself on that hall with orientation we didn't know he was going to get that hall we was hoping he'll get something else which is fine um you know he'll learn he'll learn and have experience there's nothing wrong with that you gotta start from the start not necessarily from the bottom but you gotta start somewhere so i went to the bathroom the women's and this is the male's hall and it was disgusting um one of them well maybe two of them and i didn't know understand why and anyway um so he said he went to the bathroom it may be at the gym and it may be um i don't remember where else but of course with girls we learn how to you know don't sit directly on the toilet da, da, da. boys they always stand so you tell them that when they're younger and they forget but anyway he mentioned that the seat um was sticky or something 
and I was just like thinking about I can't imagine having to go to a community bathroom every single day um, for months or weeks so I picked him up the seat toilet seat covers and I think these were $19 you get a set of four or five I think five guys of toilet seats covers and you get 250 so I did look at the reviews there is another one that was a little bit cheaper but people kept saying they were thin they would rip so I spent an extra two or three dollars and got these and I think I think five come in a box from Amazon I make sure I link it but one of these is going to stay home with us and then I can fold it up and take it with me and put it in my purse or whatever. So I think this is a great idea, especially for the kids that got community bathrooms at their school or if you just need it for work or whatever. Okay guys, so now I have all of his cleaning items together, I think. And I, as I'm going, I am going by the checklist, making sure I cross it off and yeah. And also what I'm doing is I'm placing the like items, like I said before, together. And right there is a shower caddy and shower shoes. And I still don't have anything in those boxes. So I'm working in this area over here. And then his laundry stuff over there. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And um, in this bin, I'm going to put his food. So I put his protein and his fiber in here. And just working that way and then I wish I had some really pretty labels like at home and Nikki does or Kimberly also got her some done too but I'm just gonna write on it and yeah so okay so I ordered a lot of the rest of his stuff from Walmart grocery pickup because and guys I know in my area the Walmart grocery pickup is no higher the prices are not higher um, I think I said this in another video, and I'm not going to get off on this, but it's no higher. It's the same price as it is in the store, So, and that's why I like it. Then it's convenient because I had a ton of stuff to get the rest for him. So they did not have a starter Swifter kit, so I'm going to give Cottrell mine, and I may have an extra one. I don't know. I did have an extra one, but I know I had one on my bus, so I don't know. And then the broom um, from Dollar Tree. So I got him a broom and yeah, I just, if I don't have it, then I'll just get me one later. He needed a dustpan. So I picked him up a dustpan from Dollar Tree, some spick and span. I have him paper towels and toilet paper, which I'll, I don't know if I'll show or not. I'm show, but I'm making sure I take pictures from my blog and then disinfectant spray equivalent to like the Lysol spray. And then, um, I picked these up from Aldi, the radiance disinfectant wipes. And I probably will let him keep all of the wipes. I know what we'll do is we'll clean with these when we get there. You get, how many do you get in here? You get a lot, like 75 wipes. And whatever we have left, then I just leave them there. And then the Clorox disinfectant wipes from Walmart. It's a three pack of 105 wipes. Got that for him to have. The Palm Olive Oxy Power Degreaser. I'm not sure if I've shown that or not. And then the Renews It Odor Neutralizer. I got this for his dorm room. He can put one in his closet. He can put one on his desk or whatever. And if he sees that he likes these, you know, my kids are Dollar Tree kids, Dollar Tree babies now. So he knows to go to Dollar Tree. He can find these or he can ask me like, Mom, where'd you get that from? I know my husband loves these things. Um... Yeah, he, he bought them all the time for his dorm room. Um, the Swifter, uh, Swifter Sweeper Wet. I picked this up for him, the Gain Scent. And this is 24 wet cloths. And the Swifter Dry, 32 dry cloths. So it's probably best for me to stop procrastinating and get my Costco membership back. Because if he sees that he... Um, likes these or whatever then I can just split it up because I remember these coming in like in a three pack and I don't remember the dry and also I picked him up a duster kit don't know if my child going to use it he needs to use it but this is the great value the Walmart brand and it comes with one handle and five disposable dusters so in cases stuff gets dusty he needs to wipe off his desk or something he has what 
he needs to use. And I probably should have looked for something at Dollar Tree. I didn't even think about a duster at Dollar Tree. And then, of course, guys, I showed this before. The Bissell 3-in-1 back from Walmart. And I got this for like $19 or something. So he can take it apart and use it as a hand vac as well. We had some extra trash bags. I mentioned that before in another video. So I'm just going to give him those. And then the two waffle weave heavy weight dish cloths. I thought about keeping these myself. But I'm going to let him go ahead and keep them. Because for some reason lately when I go on Dollar Tree. I have not seen the rags like these. The dish cloths. So um, all I seen was the microfiber. And the scrubby ones that have like the scrub on the other side. I don't know what's going on with that. And then the latex disposable gloves. Um, 10 of these so I picked him up some more of these he has some in his first aid kit but some of these for like cleaning okay guys so this is his laundry stuff that I picked up and if I'm showing duplicates I apologize what I'm trying to do is just pack everything together so over here I believe I did show the lightweight iron that I picked up iron I picked up from Walmart and it was about seven or eight dollars I also picked him up the Clorox Control Bleach Packs. So I watched at home with Nikki's um, laundry bag video kit. And I thought it was really neat because when we used to go and have to go to the laundromat every Sunday back in the day, that would have been so, so, so helpful. And then so I was listening to it and I was like, you know what, I should make one for Catrell. So that's what I decided. In her, she used like bleach. I think they were bleach. Um, I can't think of what they're called pellets or something like that and i did see those at walmart but i end up getting the control bleach pack so they're small let me open it up so they look like that and they smell like bleach and i'm surprised it doesn't come with a safety seal on top but you get 12 in here and if this is something that Catrell, i think he mainly has dark clothes and even his linens or dark so if it's something that he sees that he likes um, he can purchase it on his own. It, oh gosh, I can't remember guys how much this was. I think it was like maybe three, four dollars for that. Yeah. So you toss and go. And then I tr explained it to him how to use it. So I'm hoping that he's listening. And then also I ordered him some Tide Pods. So I wanted to get him the biggest thing of the Pods pack. So they're usually like $19 and I kept putting it off, putting it off on the Y. And so anyway, I guess because I usually just get detergent, I don't get pods. And so I got him the three in one and they didn't have the big bag like this. So Walmart is pretty good at substituting it for you. So I also got these in case, you know, sometimes you get tired of the same soap or the same detergent. So I got the Gain Fling. So I haven't actually tried these myself. And um, this is a... I'm looking for how many? 35 come in here. And then 30, no, 16 come in here. He has two of those. So I, I asked for the big thing, but they didn't have the big thing. And then also, I didn't see these at Roses, but I picked up the fabric softener sheets one day from Walmart. And I went and rose. Did I say I didn't see? I didn't see these in Walmart. So I picked up the Snuggle Scent Boosters from Roses. And we went in Walmart to get the fabric softener sheets, the Blue Iris Bliss. And these smell so good that I was like, I have to find the fabric softener like that. And so when I saw the boosters, I picked up a pack for ourself, myself and one for Cottrell, for the family and for Cottrell. So these smell really, really good. You get only 30 in here. It was kind of pricey. I wonder, is it cheaper at Walmart? But I have not seen them at that Walmart. Not that it's not at the other one. Also, I had an extra lint roller. You guys seen that? He always somehow has linty clothes. And no to tell him why. 80 sheets. The bounce. I picked this up for him. Some starch. I also picked that up. Some shout advance. And I told him if he gets a spot on the shirt to go ahead and treat it beforehand. And he says, I know how to wash clothes, Mom. And I was like, well, I'm just trying to make sure. Um, the fabric for Breeze, of course, boys everybody but boys need that for breeze and air out their clothes or whatever they need to for breeze spray and then the ironing pad i showed before 
instead of getting him an ironing board, I got him an ironing pad. Okay, so I have three laundry bags here, and this one is the one my brother gave him, freshly laundered, and then this is the one that he got from OCM. It has a drawstring, and it also has like a hook that he can, a loop that he can hook it on something. And then I picked him up a deluxe laundry duffel backpack. I think I showed you guys this, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I did. And this one came from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was 14 99 so he can throw it on his back and this is probably all that he will need but what he can also do is he can use one for clean laundry and then one for dirty clothes something like that and then i also i had this around the house a mesh laundry bag so he can keep all his socks in from dollar tree you get three of those and i'm trying to let's see i have him a papa pamper and then a deluxe pop-up, well, it's not a deluxe pop-up pamper, it's a pop-up pamper. So I don't think this is the one from Dollar Tree. I can't remember, but he should be fine with this. If he wants another one, he's going to have to buy another one, um, a more deluxe one. And I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, and then I'll let him figure out which bags work for him or how his system works best for him. So what I'm putting inside of the bag here... It's his lint roller, which he might don't need to take that with him. The fabric softener, the stain remover, the Clorox packs, the um, fabric softener, snuggle, and the Tide. I only put one pack in there right now, and then the rest I'll leave over here. I thought about putting his Febreze in there, but maybe I'll pour some out if I can in these little spray bottles I bought them. Or he just have to Febreze it in his room or whatever. Which I think that'll be fine anyway. But I guess sometimes you want to Febreze it maybe throw it in the dryer. I don't know. I don't know. I usually don't do that. But I guess if you need to. Okay guys. So these are the his closet. Some of his closet stuff. Not all of it. And I picked up and I showed this before. The over the door hook essentials. And it has like the two hooks here and I should have checked the day to see if they had another one. And then also this over the door hook here and I may have one in my room that I can give him as well. And then also the velvet hangers. Um, this came actually today from walmart.com. I believe it was like $6.99. So actually it was probably a uh, better deal than the ones I got from Big Lots even though I got 20% off of these um, the velvet hangers the home essentials and these were eight dollars and you get 20 of them so um, I wanted to go with these to maximize his space in his closet the only thing I did not get because I was contemplating about um, we want to raise his bed but if we get there and have a snafu and it doesn't um, I did want to get him like a shoe organizer up under his bed. So, not sure, you're not under, well, he has like two dressers on his bed. We'll raise the bed up and then they have like these shoe organizers you can put with slots that you can put shoes in. But the only thing about it is that every time I came across one online, which I should have went back in the store, they, the reviews were not good. They I was worried about it was going to be too small for his um, shoes. So, yeah. And speaking of shoes, we got to go somewhere and get some shoes. But this is what I picked up for his closet. And then also the 10 shelf hanging closet organizer. So, um, I really didn't want to go with this because he has a really small closet. But I think Cottrell is going to probably fold most of his clothes, but he doesn't have a lot of space. But I think we can make it all work, hopefully. And if not, if he comes home on the weekend and he needs that extra, uh, what is this, about four or five inches, he needs that extra space, then we will get rid of this, give this to JJ, and um, get him something for his bed, up to go up under his bed. Okay, guys, so these are the food items that I picked up for him, and my husband said it's more than enough. He needs to figure everything else out on his own, so that's what I'm going to do. And, like, if he wants something cold or whatever, he's going to have to go to the store with his buddies because they're sharing a refrigerator. So, you didn't see me haul a refrigerator or a microwave or 
with the freezer um, because at a and they already have one in their dorms already. They're not allowed to bring like other appliances, stuff like a George Foreman grill, which I think sucks, um, an air fryer, a griddle, maybe a hot plate. They're not allowed. I don't think no dorms allow that, but Jason was saying at ECU they were allowed to um, bring other things, more more things, and then they could bring their own refrigerator and stuff. So by them sharing a refrigerator, they have to watch what they bring. So that's why I'm just going to let them, you know, when he figure out how to get to the store with the shuttle or the bus, then, um, yeah, because my objective is not to have to go to Walmart or Target or whatever when we get there. Because a lot of people said it's really hectic and so forth. That's not my goal. I don't like to be in crowds. So this is what I picked up for him. I thought Hot Pockets would be a good suggestion. But I guess over time we have had that a lot. And he doesn't really um, want those or any little frozen pizzas. He doesn't really care for those. And um, I told him if he wants something sweet. He always wants something sweet has a sweet tooth he has to get it himself and then I may have a loaf of bread that I can go ahead and defrost and give him that as well but um he may have to get that too because I'm trying to teach him some responsibility and so forth so my husband was like this is more than enough anyway so I picked him up some fruit and grain cereal bars um these the eight they didn't have the big 16 and then the apple cinnamon fruit fruit and grain cereal bars is 16 pack and I um, Aldi has cereal bars as well. I also picked them up the Act 2 Extreme Butter, uh, Popcorn, the Rice Krispie Treats. Um, this is 16 value. And then also the Top Ramen Chicken Noodles. I meant to go to Aldi and order him the ramen. The ramen. Uh, it's a bowl that you can cook Top Ramen in. And it was $2.99 and I never made it to get it. So I'm sure it's probably gone. Then I also picked up, I showed this before, the value pack of NAVs. And then I picked him up a thing of jelly. A big thing of peanut butter. Some sugar-free fruit punch and lemonade. If he wants more, they're a dollar. He can get them himself. Um, he does like Slim Jim, so I did pick him up some of these. And then from Dollar Tree, I picked him up the Toast and Pop-Ups Brown Sugar Cinnamon. I'm sure he's going to go through this probably first because he likes um, sweet stuff and he's not going to save it for breakfast. Well, it can be whatever. And then I also picked him up the Old Fashioned Vegetable Beef Chunky Campbell Soup. Two cans of these and then the Chicken Noodle as well. And I don't think he's a fan anymore of the, he loves mac and cheese, but not the powdery kind. So that's why I don't have that. And then I picked him up a big bag of chips. So over here in the paper products or disposable and non-disposable stuff, he has some paper plates. So in case you just want to toss it and throw it away, some zip, fresh seal zipper bags okay guys so as i was talking so i had to use the bathroom and jason came in and he heard me here he heard me say paper so we're going to keep the paper plates because he was saying um i would want him to have which was my initial thought but then i started looking at what other people were doing you don't want a whole lot of trash in your room and then you want something that he can go ahead and clean off and he'll have less of and he was saying which I did okay with this. He said he probably doesn't need nothing but one, but maybe two if he has company. So he has two plates, two bowls, and then I did get him three cups because sometimes you leave a cup on your desk or whatever. But he said that this was too much, the food storage um, containers. What if I take the big one out, Jason, and do the little ones? You probably could, like if you wanted to make something in the room, mm -hmm. like you wanted to make a, a huge salad or something. Yeah, you want a big bowl. Yeah, because they're having a cookout tomorrow, so I was just wondering. Yeah, and, and take stuff not tomorrow, Friday. Take it to the dining hall and fill it up. Okay. And then it's also, do, but. Um, the Rubbermaid Take Alongs, you get three of these. And these are like $2. And these are set. These are nice. I probably should have kept these myself. But, um,. But so we're going to go ahead and keep the cutlery and we're going to keep the plates here at home so that he won't have extra whole bunch of extra trash, which 
I kind of fear that because, you know, they might take their time taking out the trash and you don't want bugs and then you don't want it smelling. And then also his water bottle, he had it laying around. So I just going to put that with his stuff so he'll have a water bottle. And then he also has a case of water. So it's, a, it's over here. I have to show you. I also created these um, first aid kits. I make sure I link that video above and below. And to add to that, I did pick up Cottrell some stool softener. And then he we went to the doctor. So he has his inhaler. And she did order him two of them. But I think we're going to leave one here. But I'm thinking, should he pack two? And then also some Miralax. I have some extra. So I'm just going to give him the rest of this. Because I have some prescription or prescription strength and then also an ice pack so he may not need this but we got extra i also put some q-tips in his other he probably need to put this inhaler actually like in his desk or in his book bag but i also put like some q-tips in something else i think in his health and beauty stuff not health and beauty but toiletry stuff okay guys so these are the items let me take it out it's dark in here that he had upstairs i was talking about the old spice swagger this is a six pack and i can't remember which store i want to say roses and then he also likes this gold bond ultimate men's essentials body powder spray the nightfall i think it's another scent it's in the orange it has like an orange writing here and my husband and him and my brother i believe they love this and it's hard to find it but it's usually because uh, people buy it up so fast but this are men and this is usually in the area where they have like the foot powder and spray in the pharmacy area at walmart so here is his old spice swagger that he likes and then i think he has degree in here he likes degree too and i believe that's it that's it in there so my husband, we were having a discussion and he was saying, hope, you know, you did the best you can, but, well, you did good, but what my husband wants him to be is he wants him to be unprepared a little bit so he can fend for himself. So, and I understand that, but you know how mamas are, so I do understand it. So if he doesn't have anything at this point, he's going to have to go get it himself, figure out how to get it, how to get to the store everything else transportation he has gonna have to figure it out himself so one of those things were was notebook paper which i show in one second so my child has his whole little hair kit here you guys i won't pull out everything his pigs um he's been trying to grow his hair out he'll take his biotin vitamins everything so um here's his little sponge which makes their hair curly or coil up or whatever and then he has his brushes he like he need to clean them and then the um olive oil moisturizing sheen spray so a trick if i have some males that are watching tornado coiler that's what it's called so what a trick of this what he does to make his hair look super shiny and moisturized is he sprays the oil sheen on here. I know some people probably don't care about that. But if I did have some guys, he learned that trick from my brother. So his hair looks super, super moisturized and shiny. Okay, guys, I'm going to record just a little bit more for today. And then I'm going to take a break. I might come back to it today or um, just finish up tomorrow and look at there granola bars i missed out on that so i picked him up two things of granola bars so i had to put that in his other thing and then i also picked him up some of these um flashlights now i saw he's only getting one and i saw this on when i was ordering the groceries they do let you get some non-food stuff so i was like you know what we need some anyway and i probably will i haven't decided to give him the big one or we'll keep the big one he have the small one he'll probably just get the small one so i thought it was a great price i think it was like only like nine dollars and then let me share with you the school supply stuff and then um that's all the part i record today okay guys if you haven't seen the very first haul i'll make sure that i will link it above and below um because 
that haul also has like some organizer stuff that's sitting right here but i just don't want to repeat what i already showed in that and so i also picked up trail one of these these were 5.99 or 4.99 i think it were 5.99 the solo furniture life concepts lap desk and i actually picked up one for myself and i said i was gonna share it on instagram and forgot but um, you can put your phone there. Well, I guess you can see the picture. You can put your tablet here. You can use your laptop. And I picked up one for myself too. And mine is, his is black. I think they had blue. These came from Aldi. And they also had like a marble. So um, I have the marble one with a black top. And then, because he likes to do his work a lot of times in the bed. So I also picked these up for myself. And I picked them up for him. Mainly because he can forget stuff so i want him to have surfaces where he can write stuff down and this is a square marble dry erase board and i had to sort through them to find them but if you go into aldi and they still have them at the they have tabs at the top these were 4.99 and then also i picked him up a cork board and it comes with these marble um pens here and then also the calendar so um and it has a label dry erase calendar at the top so he can write down stuff that he maybe assignments or a deadline for something to turn some paperwork in or something like that that's what i got him this for and we'll put this on the wall by his desk i'm not sure if i showed his school supplies but Catrell has money to where um he's going to go to the bookstore of course get his books but he has like 250 where he can spend on supplies so i was telling trail to go upstairs to the stockpile that i picked up some paper from roses and uh jason was like no he go to the bookstore and get paper and i'm like i may sneak some paper in here because i'm like you know i got all that paper JJ's just like go through all that paper but um so the twin pocket portfolio poly portfolios i picked up two of these from dollar tree i got him some staples i got him a stapler and this was on his a t list why well, i don't know sorry jj Josiah has the tv up loud some white out this as well this came from dollar tree these came i think this is dollar tree but this came from walmart so um, that was on their list too, white out. I don't know why. I gave him some scissors because I knew he was going to need some scissors. And then he has a big thing of printer paper over here. He has a Sunbeam LED lamp. I'll go over this real quick because I showed it before. He has a student planner from Dollar Tree, just a basic one. This is an organizer in the his desk. He can put in his from Dollar Tree. And then um, he has this box that he can put stuff in if something doesn't work out he doesn't have room for it we're bringing it back home and then he also has a desk calendar which i think is over there up under something and i'll record that tomorrow and then he has another calendar here so these are from dollar tree so if he doesn't need all these you know it's not like i spent a lot of money but i'm trying to make sure that control remembers what he needs to remember Oh God, Cottrell, some of these, two, not some of these, uh, two of these surge protectors. And he may only need one, but just in case, um, I think these were like eight or nine dollars. And I wanted to make sure the cord was long enough. So it's a six outlet surge protector. It's a six foot cord. And these came from Walmart. Then he has some wood pencils here. And um, I already had this stuff packed up. So this one's like... You can go to the bookstore, but I don't want them to spend. I know the stuff in the bookstore is high. So also some ballpoint pens. Because they're just not going to go through all that stuff by itself. He has some ruled index cards. He has two of those. And he has some erasers if he needs them. And I like to get this stuff. I said in another video with talking about JJ going back to school from Staples. Take advantage of the sales at the store. There's a pencil sharpener at target and walmart um if i see something that's at dollar tree and then the mechanical pencils these were like 50 cents from staples and the pencils as well so i do have some more stuff but um i'm going to show it tomorrow yeah tomorrow because i have to charge my battery I also put some rubber bands in here in case he needs it he probably needs maybe some paper clips and i know i have plenty 
So I try to remember if I don't forget. And then I also gave him some tape as well. 